it's Graham here at Crashtron, and today I want to take you through some of the features on the Crashtron scheduling panel. So here we have the panel that is lit up, it's ready, it's ready to take uh, reservations for example, but it's also linked to my Microsoft Teams room. So you can see the center room console layer, and just behind me you can see the front of room display. So nothing is booked at present. So one of the features I want to discuss today on these Microsoft Teams panels and all Crash Run scheduling panels is the ability to modify some of the settings to include some accessibility options. So let's have a look and see what these are. So I can simply press the settings button and I can go into device settings. And here we have some accessibility options. So I have the ability, for example, to make the standard text a little bit larger. So once I do that, it will ask me to restart the application. We can say OK. And it's restarting the Microsoft Teams panel app. And as you can see, the text is a little bit larger now. So again, for people with uh, visibility uh, who want to be able to see things clearer, you can do that. So you can see that my Microsoft uh, Flex Teams Room 05 now spans over two lines. Previously, it was on a single line. The other thing also uh, for accessibility is where you mount it. So you're able to mount it either flat or at a 20 degree angle, depending on um, that wall you have to put it to. So again, we have a number of different mount options, so you can get it right for your environment and make sure it's inclusive for everyone. You can also change the color slightly on the device here as well. But also you can also enable, enable the high contrast mode. So again, to brighten up things and make things a little bit sharper. Now, the other feature I really like is this talkback feature. So let's go and enable this. Talkback on. Settings. So now it is telling the user what the features and buttons are in here. So, for example, if I want to click on that arrow. Back button. Teams. 1612. Teams. And if I was to click somewhere. Flex Teams Room 05. Friday, July 23rd, 2021. So there you have it. You've got nice textual guidance on these panels as well. So I hit reserve. Reserve button. Double tap to activate. So it tells you you actually need to double tap it. So again, making it really easy for users to ad hoc meeting flex teams room 05 choose end time 1613 1630 ad hoc meeting 1645 button row one column two in grid two rows 48 columns double tap to activate. So nice and simple for users to to come in and utilize do this ad hoc uh, booking if you if you want, but also. Teams. What we can also do is once we have a meeting invite on the device, so we'll just send that an invite to the panel now, and you'll see everything auto accept. So it's got it in the Microsoft Teams room on the center of room panel. So that's now able to a single click join. But also, you can do this also on the Microsoft Teams room. You can also enable uh, the accessibility options and high contrast mode on the Microsoft Teams rooms as well. So for example, I'll hit join, and there we have it now in the meeting. So again, very simple for users to do that. Now, another feature that will be coming soon as well is the ability to use Cortana, so use voice activation. So, hey Cortana, join my next meeting. So people can walk in and not have to touch anything. So making it very easy not to have to look for a button. If you know all your rooms are Cortana enabled, then they'll be able to simply do that. So that's a great feature too that, that is coming. So now we have the room has appeared as booked. So it now turns red. It's got that meeting in there. So it knows it has a meeting crashed on Teams panel. Again, also in the options, instead of being red, you could also uh, have it that it is a light color. So green is obviously always that it's free. And then this light purpley color uh, then becomes that the room um, that it's busy. So the next person can then look at the calendar. You have the option for other meetings and you can see who's booked. You can scroll down here and then go back to your desk and decide to book that room. You can't just do a walk up meeting and reserve it for a little bit later. That will come uh, later on, I guess, in another version. But it's really nice and easy to utilize. Uh, again, visually be able to see that that room is booked. Uh, so it's been reserved by someone, so you actually can't walk in there. And again, some other features coming along. 
things of people counting. So when the meeting room system is counting the number of people, display that outside on the panel out on the top line. So making it really nice and easy so you don't accidentally go into the meeting room, that it's at capacity, and you need to go and find another room. And again, some of these features will come to the Teams panel in terms of being able to find nearby rooms. So over in the bottom left corner, that'll be a feature coming at a later date. So, thanks very much for watching. I uh, hope you uh, like this quick video on what we have on the Crestron uh, scheduling panels to help any, uh, you know, rollouts and you want to be able to make sure the panels are able to be used by everyone that's coming into the, uh, the building because you know, as we move back to this hybrid workforce, everyone's going to be at the office at a different time and you want everyone to be able to use this technology as easy as possible. Thanks very much for watching.